Linda, we should probably do a QuickBooks desktop question this time. What do you think? Let's do it. All right. So this one's on bank reconciliations. Dilemma. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a dilemma about them. Um, currently reconciling one of my bank accounts, and suddenly there's a reconciliation discrepancy going all the way back to 2010. <laughs> the report said it was deleted by me which it was not, and that the transaction is still in the books in 2010, just not checked off, as cleared. All my rec balances are now showing a negative beginning balance. I tried rebuilding, verifying, and it still appears. Any ideas? So. You said the report was deleted by Andy DPM. That's interesting. Wonder why it says that, but yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> so we're basically trying to display what we've got going on here. Um, this is QuickBooks desktop we've got going on, okay? And if we go in, we went in and we actually reconciled just to this sample company file. And we know that the balance we had before was actually like 99,9250.50 cents. Mm -hmm. So our beginning balance is off. Now, one way we can try to figure out why that's off is we can actually pull up a locate discrepancies. Then do a discrepancies report with the right account chosen and it's going to give you a report of what the details were, what the item is, right? It just says uncleared, but they said the transaction's there, so that would be like this. So if you go to um, reconcile it again, it should be hanging, ready to be, yeah, there it is, not cleared. Now, because the other reconciliations are done and because you wouldn't want to like re-reconcile it right away, if you know for sure that that was part of that reconciliation, this is kind of the same thing that QuickBooks Online does now, couldn't you just go in and actually mark it off as reconciled and then hit record? I don't think so. I don't think that works in desktop, but try it. I don't think it does. Maybe. Now try to reconcile and see if it lets you. So if we go back to home, we'll go to reconcile. Pulling up on my other screen. Might be new. Yeah, it's good. Hey, it worked. And that means if I also go 99250.02, same date, I should be able to go continue, and I should see more. Good job. So by, if it's simply that it's just unchecked, by pulling that reconciliation report, you'd be mm -hmm. able to find the item, go back into the register, check it off as reconciled. Only do that for something that you know was reconciled or you're going to cause yourself more problems. Mm -hmm. But you can do that part of it, and then you would have the uh, previous reconciliation discrepancy would be gone. And, and if they can just go in and put a, you know, a zero in there and pull up that screen and see if it's hanging there. If it's hanging there, then they can go back in and just hit like you just did and, and be all fixed, good to go. Even if it's 2010, you're just fixing something that was unlinked for some reason. And, and things can come unlinked if it's a, a, a data file problem, too. I mean, they said they verified it, but it could be that. Also remember, there's always two parts of a transaction. So maybe when, if like, for example, like a transfer, if you were to remove it from one side because you thought it was a duplicate, there's something else on the other side of it that could be removed. And that's one of the most common ways to uh -huh. accidentally affect a prior reconciliation. So um, <laughs> that could be part of it. Hopefully this helped. I think we understood the question correctly. So hopefully this got you uh, on the right path. If not, hey, put another comment in. We'll see what we can do to help you out. But other than that, hey, here's wishing you a very successful week. Absolutely. <laughs> Bye.